Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones. Well we are continuing as Empress Asenius of Elsa Cinder, the great uniter of New Valyria. In truth there's very little left to do beyond colonizing here and obviously maybe expanding into these regions possibly. Working down here and then maybe eventually going to a war with Westeros, but that's not the point in it, I mean, when they're this weak. And of course, for us, our conquests are limited by the fact that we do not have a dragon. Which is, uh, fun. We have all these dragon heads, but no dragon ourselves. Uh, we've made a decree. Uh, I tried to do whatever I could to make this Valerian be my heir, but it fundamentally just would not let me. So in the end, I have restored Krig Monitor or I okay, who the actual heir would be, and I've sort of said that the Great Council didn't happen, just because some random guy down here doesn't seem like it makes any sense to me. So Magor will be our heir again. And uh, the only other title this is interesting is for some reason Valerian actually inherits here, so he'd have two kingdoms, which is weird to me. I literally don't know why he inherits this, and why I wouldn't. I know he's his cousin, but the relation there seems a little off. Because it sure, he's the nephew through Maris, but I'm um, her daughter. And a queen. I guess it must be that these titles, um... I forgot of course it has. These titles must have different succession laws. In that, yeah, you see, it's only a, it's a male only line of succession. I suppose it means that I should have considered that. Is Magor anywhere in that line? No. So these titles may merge. But what I may have to do is perhaps split them when Valerian dies between. Because he's got many sons, I believe. Yeah, Rhaegar, Valerian. Uh, Mayris. So maybe Mayris gets it, maybe Valerian gets it, but we'll have to split the titles on his death, I think. He's probably the best way to do it. Nope, oh, and Geese has finally returned to the fold. Was he successful in his victory? Yes, he defeated the rebels against him. Though, with how his army is looking, I don't think he'd win a second one. <sighs> Should be thankful Carth is leaving in B. Why would I give... I don't care about her. Why should I give her a title? Buddy Flux. Not good. Let's get the army back down. Another dragon flying. Nelaris Cinder. Ah, oh, my niece through, or my cousin, I suppose, through Chaharis. Or Magor of the Velvet Hills. No. I'm not going to marry Magor to that. That sounds stupid to me. With this gold, let's uh, upgrade the estates. Only really fucks like reached the island right away. I would have thought the island would have had some time before it gets caught. Surprising. Let's get the barracks up with all of these. The stables hit. Just getting our base army up a bit more. I mean, obviously, our base army is massive. We are 187,000 as a united empire. If we compare that to the. I was about to say, if we compare that to the rock, we can't because the rock's at war. What are they at war over? He's at war with the king of the Iron Throne in a du jour with a, a Sarsfield, and he's also at war 
with Queen Lyanna of the Rock. A Lynette. Interesting. So the Lynettes are fighting against the Plums. But they've only got 9,000 men. So I don't see how they're going to beat the uh, 27,000 of the Rock. King Robert Plum of the Rock. And so it is, it is physically impossible to keep the Iron Throne together in multi in, um CK2 single player, unless you're playing as, you know, the Iron Throne itself. Orion Cinder has hatched a dragon. It's Quellos. No. I don't care. Ooh, Valancis is at war. With Pentos? Surely not. Yeah. Claim on the lands of Long Summer. So he's fighting over Long Summer itself? Interesting. The 22,000 versus 27,000. If he wins Long Summer, that's. This would actually be even more difficult because not only is he a rival, but I dislike. He would command these two combined kingdoms. That could be a problem. The Kingdom has currently been covered separate from the crown. No. No one is going to be the incumbent of North Illyria. I mean, I own its uh, capital. The only person who gets emboldened by that is some other fool. I will order Aeni to stand down. And he has! Interesting. I would have thought he would have kept fighting, because that war, he had won. Guess maybe he was scared I could join. Uni would be honoured for 150 gold. All right. It's because I love cats. Attempt to hatch dragon egg. Don't. I, so I do have a dragon egg, right? Yeah, I have Xanthus's dragon egg. Maybe we let Magor try and hatch, or maybe I should give it to Magor. Because he's my heir. Okay, I'm going to do that. We're just going to hope that he lives to full age and hatches a dragon as our heir. I mean, that alone is a difficult challenge. Marry as you please. So he's an Archon. He's a Lord Paramount. And Lady Paramount. Bravos is, I assume, also an Archon, yeah, and then Lise must be an Archon. Yes, okay. So I would have thought Lord Freehold would be a good name to replace Lord Paramount. I guess Lord Freehold is like a beneath title. Yeah, for some reason this is a Lord Freeholder. Not sure how I feel about that. I feel like if Lord Freeholder should be this title. <gasps> a name replacement for a Lord Paramount. Prince Mega and Prince Valerian. Uh yeah, that actually seems like a good uh, a good match. What are the Targs doing over here? It's the, own, it's the King of the Stepstones, I was going to say, because I guess they lost the Iron Throne, right? Yeah, the King of the Stepstones. Oh, it's a slave raid. Interesting. A bad clip be the Lord who disappeared years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the Children of the Forest. Some say his songs are prophetic. Okay. Love Prophets. 
Uh, the hills of Nolos. We can make sure that we build the harbour in there, of course. We'll do that. Oh dear. My sister Princess Vera has been growing weaker and weaker. And I've just been informed her in fit, uh, she indeed has the bloody flux. Yes, get a physician. I can gain another dragon egg or sell it for 750 gold. We... Mmm. I mean, I don't need the money, do I? I haven't got this much. Right, we're going to build basic defences. When we have enough gold, we'll build it here as well, because obviously everywhere else has them. That's what I said. I thought, did I colonize this? No, it's just the exact same colour. Lyria is so profitable for us. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how much diff like it's 20 tax value more than Illyria, which we've been building up this whole time. Interesting. You trek through the wastes of Illyria when you encounter the buried chest. It seemed to be unexplored, and upon opening it, you found it contained treasure. So most likely it contains gold, and there's a, but there's a chance it contains 500 gold, a tiny chance it contains a Valerian steel sword, and a tiny chance it contains Valerian steel armor. If the game loves me, it'll give me that Valerian steel armor, but it won't. 250 gold. We got the 93%. Doesn't surprise me. It was 93%. But uh, imagine if we had got that Valerian steel armor. I think that's the only thing we're lacking at this point to truly be transcendent is Valerian steel armor. I don't think any smithy is going to be able to produce that for us. It's good we have an egg again. It means that just in case something does go wrong with um, our egg, we still have them. Uh, the dragon fields. Yeah, we'll send supplies to the dragon fields. It's a shame, so it's a, a famine and it's not even a full colony yet. We've received word from Hesh that Rainy Cinder, Captain of Lord of Bathe and Simba, has confessed his crimes of adultery. Yes, or her wife, or Rainy has, she's confessed to adultery. The realm will surely bleed, or Bravos at least will bleed. My friend Vasella and himself, sure. I don't know who this is. I, it, there's just some random courtiers that claims are mine sometimes, so I just go along with it. Let's get some basic defences going in here. Larger states will be finished in a moment. My half brother Vermin Cinder has passed away. You've got to get the patrol posts up here. Thing. Let's get the training ground. Princess Rael. Let's get her... A martial education, because I think that would be fun. Vermin Cinder died of the bloody flux. I mean, so many people are dying of it. It's it's spread. I mean, it's starting to proceed now, but it's spread so far across our kingdom. But lucky it didn't hit anyone too... I mean, I was about to say important. It did hit a lord. But I guess it, we're lucky it didn't hit a um, uh, someone close to us. I don't, I don't really need to afraid of Lyria, do I? Okay, we'll end our rivalry, because eventually I want to just control these regions here, fully, and then grant these away to uh, the eventual, like, when I'm a king and I have a son, that's when I grant it away, and it's a direct heir, they'll get those titles. Uh, 
Let's get a cast town going here. So it looks like she's finally arrived with her her false claim. But she's going she's claiming only Giska? Interesting. It is funny that this chosen Pentos as the lead title here, so we just have Pentos <laughs> randomly here. Me split in two. Oh, because I own these for some reason? Yeah, apparently I do. Okay, and everyone's joining on my side, but also we have War of Hazdahan Independence. Buddy, I think you've bit off a bit more than you can chew. Probably only need these armies. Uh, but I'm going to raise these ones as well. Get these together, and then obviously I can just keep my even my largest army, which is in Valyria, all by itself. That's how how large we've become. Even is her army going to be? I assume she's going to lead it herself. So she's hide. Is she just hiding in Lang? Apparently so. Gonna march on Hassan and take them out then. And then we just ignore the war and keep building. How much stone? I mean, we can remove Sainris from this army actually. I mean, she doesn't have a dragon anyway. So there's not much point for her to be commanding that force. It's just a risk that we don't need. Ah! Oh, this is the news we've been waiting for! Our heir, young Lord Magar Cinder! Has success the dragon. It's in, he's named the Winged Stranger. Well, there you go. So I didn't pick this match. I mean, she's High Valyrian, but I wouldn't have picked this marriage for him. Uh, maybe when he's fully my heir, we can um, discuss that more. Can I not make myself this guardian? Damien would refuse. Do you not like me? No, okay, I guess I'll try and sway you so I can become his guardian. It's like maybe her army's on the way? Oh, you're bloody kidding me. I don't need the relief force, we're going to attack it immediately. How dare you try a sneak attack on me? Okay. So there, let's get the Mulder's army. It's not a large army. That's actually a good sign. I need to start increasing uh, the barracks and stuff in Morris when if the land oh, is that small. Alaris has also hatched a dragon. Named Anzolf Kal. What sort of name is that? Kun Sayela. Why is there a Cinder Pro Kal? <laughs> There's just a Cinder Kal. I didn't know this was possible. Okay. That's fun. Is she? Is she still over there? Is she not even sending her own armies to fight? No, okay, she's on her way. There you go, there's her navy. How big an army are we talking? 15,000. You know what? I'll let my vassals take care of this. Let's get this army down to Marine. Get a ship over there to pick him up. Okay, apparently I can't pick him up from Marine even though it's is that what she's got? Really? I thought she'd have a much larger, larger army than this. You guys can actually just stay here then. Actually, no, the, the, the attrition's killing you. I don't want you to stay there at all. Well, that was quick.
it will let that mouse go through. Okay, now we can just stand down these armies. Although you're going to have to return to Marine. Why are we losing this 41%? What? Sorry, what? Why are we losing this? My... Huh? Just by controlling his holding? That's absolutely absurd. What we're going to have to do is split here, split the army in half and then send these ones back in. Malera Cinder uh, has come for a trial by combat. King Anis Cinder shall be... Hmm. I don't... This is what I don't get. She doesn't have any rights. Why... I'm... Didn't, what rights does she have for this? It doesn't make any sense to me. He's the best fighter. It's against Anis. Why is Anis doing this? He's literally fighting to the death. I'm going to pick the best fighter we have. And he lost. Why did he do that? <laughs> it was just, It's... Yeah, execute her. Have her hang. I, why would he do that? And now Volantis is ruled by a child. He's a Lord Paramount. Why would he choose to do that? Found it all a bit baffling, I suppose. Very, uh, very strange. Don't have a court position either. Oh dear. So, yeah, also, I'm in debt. Didn't realize I was. It's not good. Lucirus Cinder now rides on Magal. Oh, sorry, it's Aerol. It's of the Valyrian li of the Illyrian line. Oh, it's Balor's kid. Oh, there you go. I mean, this family tree is so massive now. And Aaron, and then all the way back to Zavdar. I miss Zavdar. Zavdar was one of my favourites. Even though Zavdar wasn't alive for long. And then, of course, Majesty. I can't believe Majesty only lived for 60 years, considering all of the dragons we've had since. I mean, Majesty would be remembered, no doubt. I mean, Majesty birthed thousands of children at this point. <laughs> no, not thousands, but, you know, it's very, very long dynasty has been born of uh, Majesty. To the degree where definitely Majesty would be remembered. No, oh, I, I hate how this event keeps coming because I'm childless. Like, th that doesn't mean I would give titles away. Why? What's this defensive war? Migration to Volena. No. Yeah, well, we're definitely gonna have to fight this. But I, I hate fighting wars against it because it's just pure attrition. They have no ability to win the war, but you have to at least walk in them because they have the attrition over and over and over and over. It's just absurd. Like, where even is is the capital of who we're fighting? Oh no, that's where he is. Where's his uh, capital? Oh, God. I'd have to go all the way over here to do this. I fundamentally do not want to do that. I... It's just stupid. I'm sorry. It's just completely stupid. Report the old council. The 
Bra is Bravos attacking Pentos? Yeah, and he's not gonna stand down. Ugh. Do is if I raise these, then I'm a little more okay taking attrition because it's not my men. Send them over to Valantis. Maybe I could just also like assassinate him. Maybe that would work. You can get any auto invites on this. If not, then I'll just give up because there's not much point to it. No, okay, there's not much point to it. Pagon, Janix, Paris, Bathan, Athan, Damon, Megan, Blah, Lainor. Let's go with the next random one we get. Vegan. Pay 50 gold for some religious scrolls. Sure. Always love expanding the treasury. Ancient religious scrolls found in the ruins of a colony during its restoration. <laughs> Bear and Sinner has apparently hatched one and named it Raised. Okay, a new Archon for Lise. Peda. I believe it should only be Illyrian to win elections here because we've, um. of who the original electee was. I think there's a chance it won't be one, but on the majority of the time it should be. Which is good news for us. Um, yeah, you're probably, you are a better commander. Just because I know that guy's sons. Minus 60, that he hates me even more. He must have given it away then. He's given one of his kids uh, Cyberman's egg. Oh, yeah, he's given it to Larissa. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, and he was a dragon rider. How are you that crap? Why are you standing as an option if you can't win a trial by combat? Now my niece is rides on the dragon back. So my le my chief general's dead. I have to make Libero a chief general then. Not that I really want to. Oh my god. Fine, and then he's gonna die. Okay, great. Can I just, I might as well just release everyone from my prison, because I genuinely don't care about any of these people. Let's just enslave these guys. Uh, 
Um, I can't afford the ransom. Fine, I'll just let you go. Oh, he's fleeing backwards. What? Where's he going? Oh, he's want to try and catch the Valantis army which is sieging him down here. I see. I don't think he's going to catch them. Let's see if I can get a couple more troops along the way. Merge up with them. Hela Rudigob now rides up. Hmm. A Tulossi Dragon Rider. Who would have funk? You want the Kingdom of Valyria itself? No. I'm not hoarding Valyria, it's my capital title. Damned fool. I'm just thinking he's worthy of Valyria. It's a fool of a man. I mean, what is a man? Miserable pile of secrets. Looks like Bravos is going to win this. He's about 75% war score on that. This army's going to get wiped, so I think it's got two major armies attacking it. Yeah, of course people are trying to kill me. They're all mad that I hold titles, even though they're my correct titles. Probably this Lord of Tyria is plotting it as well. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely plotting it. How old's Magor now? He's of age. It'll be fine. Especially now he's got a dragon of his own winged stranger. Twenty-one, Illyrian. She's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's get the second one. Dear God, I lost six thousand troops just from doing that. This is why this is such nonsense to me, having to fight these constant wars. It's just pure attrition. I shouldn't have to siege them down. They should have to siege me down. Another two thousand on one province. Come on. Like, it's just pure attrition over and over and over again, and I'm just sick of it. And I, I can't catch them because of the mountains. They're just going to keep moving backwards and forwards again and again and again. Just go over there. It's, it's personally, I just think, really stupid. Like, I just don't want to have to bother with these stuff wrap your walls over and over again. It doesn't make any sense to have that level of attrition. If it was small attrition, I'd be fine with it, but it's it's just ludicrous amounts of attrition for all of this stuff. Petos is literally falling apart because of this war. Let's see how this is going to end well. Like, and then he's going to get a lot of war score for these tiny battles because he just keeps fighting small scale battles and winning. I find it very annoying.
Um, Zano. Yeah, you're pretty good, actually. Sure, you can come stay as a courtier here. I just invite him in and I pay the golden and I immediately ask him to leave. I'm like, I'm sorry, you just you don't you're not right for this place. Oh good, I've lost that's that's quite sweet. Could this place be an advanced colony already? I've pumped so much money into the dragon fields, I feel like. Oh, I don't care. Maybe it's always going to get sieged down. If I just leave this army just to defend here for a while. Probably be better than anything else. Of course, the colonies failed. The colony always failed. You get to see a colony in Lee which hasn't failed. No. No matter how cool your name is, but you literally are not even within my kingdom. You're off with High Chief of Veyron of Veyron, so. I took out alone. Must have been when I was uh, in the negatives earlier. Like, look at all of this. Why do I... I don't want to do this. I just don't want to deal with this, realistically. Because I have the armies for it. I literally easily have the armies for it, but it's just complete nonsense that I have to actually deal with it. Because it's, cause they just have the advantage of me having to attack them, because the AI is too... Like, why do they not have to attack me? I don't get it. They should absolutely have to attack me, but they just don't. By that virtue, they get off scot free of a lot of stuff. How's the AI built up his stuff? Not well. It's also not even good bother to get any slaves to get his uh, mines working. The uh, dragons built its cave in Melior March. You're working alone, it's good period. Your guards filling doors open, you march and dragons sung with them as you transfer people. We caught this one trying to escape. What do you want to do with him? Fashion. Look, the hill source has really good tax, but I can't access it because it's still an advanced colony. Hurry up and level up. Do I not already get religious scrolls? I've never got religious scrolls before. No, I was going to say. They got those scrolls from the dragon field, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, oh, I lose piety for it, though. Fine, okay. Just so I don't lose the piety. This 12 fast is going to attack me. Let's see if I can wipe them before this 20k comes, because I assume that is their hope, is to... Attack me with the 20k as well. Oh, they might as well actually be able to do it. Fuck me. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get extra forces on that, am I? Unless these can arrive in time. Oh no, they can definitely arrive in time. Yep. Again, I don't know why she's on this army. This should hopefully win the war. External threats. Oh my god, now he's got a slave raid. Bravos is not an external threat game, what? Oh, now I'm having to fight my own vessel. You know what, fine. I'm going to say that this is the war. We, we might just replace Bravos as ruler for this. I mean, 
Sainris understands the dangers in doing so. I, I, I've said that, you know, she knows the risks that come from angering Bravos, but at this point, you know, what choices does she have when Bravos is doing stuff like this? Actually, what we'll do... What if we navally attack? Get the navy from... Holy crap, is that small? Why is our navy that small in Valyria? What? Hey, let's get castle shipyards built. I thought the base level of Valyria would come with more ships. That's stupid. Let's see if Valyria's doing so well. Maybe it's time I build a second city. Let's get the... I may have to forever keep Illyria just for the... No, you can stand down. I didn't need to raise you. Just so I can get the ships. I guess we're going to have to get the castle shipyards of both of these. I mean, these have a castle shipyard, but they don't have enough galleys. Very weird. I think definitely I'm going to need to be spending a lot of money on upgrading these, but I think I want to save up for a while and buy a second city. I think we want a second city and a second castle here at least. I don't know, I don't think I need a second temple. Mostly because I don't really like temples, I don't think temples give that much in comparison to what cities can give. Let's do a naval landing. He's in hiding in his capital as well. No, I ordered him to stand down and he hasn't, so it makes sense that I intervene. I thought they were going to bring me in on the, the uh, slave raid war since that is an external power. <gasps> My God, that was no ordinary drink at the party. It was poison. Yes, my aunt absolutely deserves a great, a great mighty funeral. I just can't really afford it. Probably to kill someone. No, let's not do that. All bow before his majesty. Oh my god, it's going to do it twice. Uh, which is the bigger one? This is the more interesting one. All his, mag his magnificence of the house in the first of his name. Emperor of the new Valyrian freehold. The great archon of the old colonies of old Valyria. Protector of the free cities and all of the east. Master of the Rhoyne and lord of old Valyria and Valyria. Oh, crap. And with money lenders. Okay, we'll extend the loan. I didn't realize I had a massive loan. Jesus. I assume it must have been her loan. Uh, I run on behalf of the other friends. The break is reasonable, however, and we'll be willing to cancel the debt if you transferred Ash. No. I'm not giving up Ash. Third to think I'd give up Ash. Okay, there may actually be no point in me bothering with actually. Oh. Valerian has been defeated. His reign of misrule has come to an end. And. Lord. Uh, his heir shall henceforth rule Pentos as my Lord Paramount. I mean, alright. She wants the Lord of Molrys. No. Let's 
it's so weird. Why can't I land in Pentox's ports? They are literally, surely they are an ally. There's a rest of Try to catch this army here. Let's take a look as we do that now. Let's actually take a look at our actual uh, lord here. Oh my god, Just everyone just paid just recompense. Why does everybody hate each other this heavily? heavily? So it is done. Well, it looks like unintentionally. Um, the titles of Lands of Long Summer and Pentos have been split like I wanted. So this is good for me. I just make sure that the AI does, or the game does realize that Lands of Long Summer is my vassal and returns them to me. Hopefully they do. Uh, it might be a little glitched, but I'll use console if I have to get them back in. But we've split these titles as we wanted back between different lines of Simba, which is good. But let's take a look at our new lord because obviously he's not been in our courts. We've not been able to follow him. We are Magor of New Valyria, married to Nasilla with Eleanor as a uh, betrothed. Uh, we are going to do what we can to... Oh, she's not of age yet. Okay, when she's of age, we'll do what we can to get her on her side and make her like us. So we can get some kids. But we ourselves, uh, obviously we're going to go for have a son. And I think we're going to be family focused as a king because I mean we are this book. we are paranoid, diligent, cruel, zealous, humble. Well, a very interesting one, an elusive shadow. And perhaps most keenly for me, we're a dragon rider. Finally again we have a dragon. Winged stranger. Thank goodness, it's been so long without one. Um, who is this against? I could have sworn I had seen the enemy come out of Lady Hunter barking orders, but she's never to be found. Let's try and hunt her down. She breaks her charge and flees. Yes, well, I'm actually a good fighter. Oh my goodness, another famine in the dragon field. Ew, oh dear. White piece. No, I'm going to have to sell slaves from my camp, aren't I? How big is my camp? Uh, I can't really. I'll need to find another way to get gold. That's fine. Uh, I may have to sell some items. Sell some artifacts. Not ideal, but if it's what I have to do, it's what I have to do. Either way, we finally have the strength to, I mean, if people did come against us, we have enough strength to really stop them from actually doing so. Now that we have dragons. Prophets is also at war? Or an embargo war? Interesting. Let's bring our armies back down. Well, I think that is where I will call it. For this episode, we have a new emperor, Magor, 17 years old, a whole life ahead of him, which is very exciting to be playing a young emperor again, knowing that we've got a long time to work with, and hopefully with Nayrel, or Nayes, sorry, Naysela, that's it, Naysela, with Naysela, we will have a dynasty, be born of Emperor Magor. And who knows what legacy this man is going to leave behind. But there is so much still to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Until then.